Okay, now we're going to go through some more troubleshooting. And in this case, we're indicated that we're trying to find some DC wires disconnected. But let's walk through the steps that would lead us to that conclusion and show how we go through that troubleshooting. So once again, with troubleshooting, we begin by asking which operating conditions are indicated by the inverter lights. That's how we're going to start all of our troubleshooting. When we look at it, we notice that we see it says PAC equals zero, and we have a blink blinking green power production light. So if we go back to our choices here, select an answer. These are our typical choices. Is it no lights? Is it green blinking light with PAC zero, indicating no DC input? Yes, that's correct. So that's our choice, and it indicates we have no DC input. So that's where our suspicions are going to go. So after we click that, the next question directs us to start looking on the DC side. Is the DC safety disconnect switch off? And we examine and we see, no, it's not off. It's on. It's vertical. That's good. So is the DC switch off? The answer is no. We also then check, is the optimizer switch off? And that uh, looks like that is to the right and it's in the on position. So is it off? The answer is no. So now we proceed with looking further on the DC side. So the first thing we do is turn the DC disconnect switch to the off position. So we touch on that to turn that off. And then we open the cover. So we touch on the cover to remove the cover. Ah, OK. <laughs> and we already see a problem. So now we say our DC wires disconnected. Normally they should be connected, but Here's our problem. We see it right away. We have our DC wires left disconnected. Now, we did this deliberately when we were installing the system. We left these wires to the last minute so that we could do commissioning on the DC side, make sure that all the wires were good, and then they were supposed to be connected at the end. Well, it looks like that got forgotten. So in this case, we've discovered our problem. The DC wires are disconnected, and therefore, of course, we have no DC input from the system. So are the DC wires disconnected? Yes. OK, well, fault found. So that's it. So now we're instructed to connect the DC wires to their terminals. And if we look at the more info note, always indicated here, it gives specific instructions as to where those wires would go, which one would go where. But basically, the positive wires go on the left. The negative wires go on the right. And so we're going to touch on them and have them properly connected in. So now we have solved the problem of, in this particular troubleshooting, of the DC wires being disconnected at the DC disconnect. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.